Hey, and welcome to Dryer Days Art Studio. I'm Catherine, and I'm so happy to have you here. Well, I had worked on this piece here and there over the last month and gave little teasers on my Instagram page and it's finally done and I have just been whittling away at the video trying to get this to you all. Uh, this is a deep purple resin geode piece with uh, real crystal quartz in there that I got from Just For You Online UK as well as some other glitters from them. I am also using a purple rain, beautiful deep pigment paste by Lorez Expressions and some of this other glitter I had uh, laying around in my studio just for years and I thought it would look pretty in here um, and so I'm doing a, one of these time lapses that are so popular over on my Instagram page of me laying the glitter and the stones down and these little stones that I'm showing, those, the crystals are from uh, Just For You Online UK and then the purple ones that I'm putting in and around it are actually beads that I got on strings from Michaels. So uh, you can find them really on sale there, sometimes find some really nice pieces and I know other uh, art supply suppliers out there also sell uh, real stones in these shapes so definitely keep your eye out for that you can find them all over the place I know there's people even on Instagram that sell them so just keep your eyes open uh, but yeah just laying down my stones where I want them coming in with that dry brush to clean up any excess glitter um, I do like to get that loose glitter down where I can because I'm a control freak <laughs> and I like to have it down where I want it before I come in with that resin and everything moves around I am using stone coat art resin for this piece. Uh, you can see up there the products that I'm using. We have a couple from La Res. We have a couple from Artisan Pigments. All of them gorgeous. Um, the darkest purple that I am using is the Purple Rain Epoxy Pigment Paste. Uh, it just looked beautiful in here, I thought. And I did ribbon in some violet violet from artisan pigments and also some royal velvet uh, from la Res. and i also was using the alexandrite uh, from la Res. you can find that in laura's art corner
I did decide I was going to dome this piece. So what that means is I kept the masking tape around the edges until the resin was really firmed up. And gently pulled the masking tape off. Now what happens with that, the resin is self-leveling, but around where it is curing where that tape is, you get a bit of a lip. So then do a layer of clear resin and that's, that's gonna sort of dome it. So it's going to uh, self-level and build itself up against that rim, which is sort of acting like a dam now. We'll lightly sand the edge there if it needs it. Uh, some areas are a little sharp um, or higher than other areas. And so I will try to get it uh, pretty close to one height all the way around and a nice smooth edge. So here I just wanted to show it where you can sort of see that lip around the edge there. And I hadn't sanded yet or anything. Uh, so it's a little uneven. Some parts are a little pointy. Um, but also just wanted to show the colors here too, loving how it's looking so far. My favorite, favorite Uni Pasca markers, all the products that I use are listed in the description. So if you need any tools or products, please check out those links. Anything that you click on and buy via my channel uh, helps support my channel. So I greatly appreciate that. I also have a Patreon and a PayPal account if you want to make a one-time donation help support my channel or become a patron. I have lots of rewards for my patrons. Like this. Adding some highlights with my silver marker and showing how I do that a little bit up close for you all. Oh, I just made a batch of clear resin. Again, it is Stone Coat Art Resin. Just making sure I don't have any dust. Everything looks good. I did clean it off, but I was seeing a little bit of dust and just wanted to make sure everything was off. Touching everything with a gloved hand so that I'm not getting any oils from my hand on this piece. In the natural light trying to focus here. Uh, you can really see there in the dark purple where I added that alexandrite and the violet and even a little bit of a silver in there. Uh, I just love the flow of the colors. It really, you have to see it in person. I say this all the time with these resin pieces, but the video, the photos just don't do it justice. I have clients uh, message me all the time after they get the piece that it's just so much more beautiful in person. You can see there nice and flat, beautiful dome effect and then a little bit of texture with those crystals popping out of the middle. I'm very happy with this piece. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the video description for all the products I used, as well as my Patreon, PayPal, Facebook, and Instagram. I appreciate you all so much. And until next time, keep on pouring.